Hardcore cases of mental illness are getting special attention from Seattle police. Coma Force Joel Marino got an exclusive first look at the new crisis team that puts a mental health expert inside a patrol car. Looks like he's homeless. The case management meeting can sound pretty crazy at times. Okay, uh, yelling, at, yelling about knives and stabbing people. But officers with Seattle's crisis intervention team have a new edge to handle mental health calls. Justin Dawson is a trained mental health professional, not a cop. His partnership with Officer Dan Nelson is changing street tactics when dealing with people who are paranoid, schizophrenic, or bipolar. Because not everybody's going to respond favorably to, to an officer. Um, once, once a situation is deemed safe, like the officer can take a step back and I can go up. Dawson and Nelson take on the cases that can frustrate patrol officers. Sometimes a person can act in a frightening way, but officers are at a loss if they've done nothing illegal. Here, they ran a quick evaluation on the man sprawled on the ground, realized he was getting professional help, then sent him on his way. Is there anything else I can do for you, Daniel? Give me a hug. Okay. Whoa. It's all right. You're right. Okay. But other cases are more involved, and Dawson and Nelson spend much of their time making house calls. They dropped in on a woman who keeps calling 911, saying people are out to get her. So I'm Officer Nelson, and this is my partner, Justin. Justin. Dawson's training helps him recognize symptoms on the fly. Then he refers people to a host of services to help, instead of hauling them off to jail or the hospital emergency room. They're chronically mentally ill, and they're um, violating stuff like the trespass ordinance over and over again. Um, regular courts and regular jail isn't going to fix it. Take care of yourself, all right, buddy? It's this street outreach that gives Dawson and Nelson direct contact with the people who are in crisis so they can get the care they need in time. That was Joel Marino reporting. The crisis intervention team includes two other officers, but Dawson is the only civilian involved. A federal grant pays his salary and will keep this pilot project funded for two more years.